Now at 6, Indiana lawmakers want more law enforcement officers to carry tourniquets. As CBS 4's Kristen Askow shows us now, police sometimes need those kinds of supplies before the ambulance arrives. Police in Indianapolis have carried first aid kits with tourniquets for years. Sergeant Janae Cook says they're a vital tool. We've had numerous times where doctors have came to us afterwards and said because of the officer's fast reaction and the ability to put a tourniquet on, this saved this person's life. Sergeant Cook says donations helped her officers obtain the kits. She says they're all trained on how to apply a tourniquet and have often used them to stop bleeding after car crashes and shootings. She points out police are usually the first on the scene of an emergency. Even though we're in the city, we still have a delay on medical care uh, along with, you know, um, other areas based on the, the needs of uh, ambulances. Now Indiana lawmakers want to make sure all law enforcement agencies across the state have access to tourniquet kits like these. Law enforcement up in our area and throughout the state don't have the resources, don't have the funding to be able to get the bleeding control kit. State Representative Mike Andrade says kits like these usually cost at least $120 each. He introduced a bill that would allow any law enforcement agency to get help from the state obtaining tourniquets for their officers. It would use a combination of state funding and donations. I think when it comes down to saving someone's life, there's no price to it. The bill passed in the House with unanimous support and is now being considered by the Senate. At the State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. And lawmakers say the bill is expected to get a hearing in the Senate next week.